Hey everyone, welcome to another paint pouring video. In this video, I'm going back to the yellow and the orange and the pink background. Um, right now, I'm really obsessed with uh, doing paintings with this background. I'm not sure why, um, because I've never really been into pink, but for whatever reason, this particular co color combination has just uh, really tickled my fancy. Almost as much as uh, uh, the white negative space one. I was really obsessed with that background for a long time, but now I seem to have moved on to this uh, pink and orange and yellow sunset-y one. Um, anyways, so I'm still really struggling with uh, getting the gradient right. It's a really difficult kind of technique to perfect. I mean, first of all, I discovered that even like spraying the cans upside down after you're finished using them, it doesn't prevent the nozzles from clogging. I mean, uh, this is acrylic paint and you gotta like pop off the nozzles and like soak them in water for them to continue to function properly. Um, I've since discovered that you can actually buy the nozzles separately. I think that I'm, you know, I'm humming and hawing about whether or not to do that just to kind of like cut down the amount of time that I spend doing these backgrounds. Um, yeah, and I mean, that whole sequence before, that was a whole lot of spray painting. I actually cut a whole bunch out. Um, it just took a lot of time. Anyways, so moving on to the paint, I'm still really nervous about my paint recipe. It's still pretty new to me. Um, and I was actually reusing paint as well, so I wasn't sure it, w it was going to hold up to um, being refreshed. But it did. It seems to have uh, dried really well. Um, so I'm really happy about that because, you know, I really want to... I, I never get the right amount of paint. I always have some left over. And it's really ex expensive, so I'm glad that I'm able to reuse the paint with this recipe. Um, moving on to the ribbon. So I was super happy with this blob that I made. It, it had a lot of really interesting little details going on with it. You can't really tell from here, but I was pretty excited about it. And consequently, I was pretty upset with myself for covering it up with this ribbon completely. Um, not just because I covered up a cool little blob thing, but also it's kind of like my stamp of originality. I mean, I'm sure you're well aware that I've been inspired a lot by Callan Shab's work and this tray and this ribbon pour is like pure Callan Shab. And I really try and kind of keep my paintings original. I mean, it's bad enough that I'm using his technique. Um, I really don't want to make paintings that, you know, almost look like something that he could have made. I mean, obviously not the same quality, but, you know, like, I just want, I really like to try and keep it original. So um, I thought that this ribbon really looked a lot like something that uh, Callan might have done albeit probably on one of his bad days. I don't know if he has bad days, but <laughs> anyways, I digress. The whole point of that tirade was, I am well aware that this is very Kalan Shab like and my next painting, I'm going to make more of an effort to make it something that is original to me, um, if that's possible using this technique, the Kalan Shab technique. So I also included a close-up of the camera underneath the tray again. I really like that shot. I think that it's pretty cool looking. Although I need to adjust the angle on a little bit because you can only see like half the tray. But still, I thought it was worth including it in this little video. And in the close-up, you can see all these little air pockets in the ribbon. Uh, I'm not sure what caused it, but I thought it actually ended up looking pretty cool. Like Swiss cheese, kind of like a Swiss cheese rainbow. I ended up calling this painting Swiss Rainbow. Um, and that's about it. 
Thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, remember to hit like and make sure you've subscribed. Have a great day. Bye.